Mull. A windswept, bejeweled island in the Inner Hebrides, home to a staggering array of incredible wildlife and stunning landscapes. In the summer of 2021, the Biome team travelled to Mull to document this wild island. Join us as we face the best and the worst of the Scottish weather in search of Mull's most charismatic animal, the Eurasian otter. Our journey starts in Oban, and as the mainland falls into the distance, the rugged hills and coastlines of Mull draw closer. The Isle of Mull is famous for its incredible animal life, and in particular its otters. One of Britain's most enchanting animals, it's these beautiful fish eaters that we've come to film. So one of the species that we're really hoping to see on Mull is the Eurasian otter. Otters are known for being incredibly shy and elusive, which does make them quite difficult to see and film. These otters in particular are also quite tricky to see is that they are coastally adapted. So it's the same species that you find on the mainland of the UK in freshwater systems and river systems. But these ones here also hunt in the sea and they typically hunt out at sea. They are known to bring their catches on shore, which hopefully gives us a better chance of seeing them, but it's much harder to see them from the land if they're out at sea. But there's a whole suite of other animals that make their living by foraging along these coasts. And the species that's easiest to find is the common seal. They can be found lounging on the many islands that are strewed along this rocky shoreline, but otters are much trickier to spot. And when the tide rises, these shallow, rocky shelves create a rich maze of kelp and seaweed, perfect refuges for crabs and fish, and the perfect hunting ground for otters. Aerial reconnaissance shows the vast amount of otter habitat on Mull and gives us a glimpse of what will become our biggest challenge. Our first impressions of Mull and the habitat here are good. The island seems incredibly rich, supporting dozens of species, all of whom depend on the sea for food. It shows that at least there's plenty of prey and a healthy food web to support top predators like otters, if only we can find them. The sheer scale of the challenge we've set ourselves begins to set in. The otters roam across the entire coastline, some 300 miles. We hunker down and wait. A dark shape in the water and a mad dash for the sea, but a false alarm. It's only a loon. We get as high as possible to get a good vantage point, and eventually we spot otters. They're foraging, far out to sea, and we're pushing our cameras to the very limit. And these aren't the close encounters we've been hoping for. All we're seeing is tantalising glimpses of these creatures as they hunt, brief windows into their secret lives. The sea is now grey, then green, then deep blue, making filming them on the water difficult. And as the days wear on, with little luck, hope seems to be wearing thin. There's plenty of wildlife, but the otters are like ghosts, so we decide to change tactics. We head for the western coastline, where small streams drain into the sea. We know that otters, especially those which live on the coast, return to freshwater daily to drink and clean their fur, so we focus on the one place we know that they must return fresh water draining into the lock. And just in time, our luck begins to change. We spot an otter feeding out to sea, and this time we can follow it as it heads onto shore. After a mad scramble over slippery, seaweed-encrusted rocks, we're finally in a position to see this gorgeous animal up close. We make sure we're downwind so it doesn't smell us, and we don't get too close to avoid disturbing it. It's a big male, and it's brought its prey onto the land, some kind of rockfish it's caught underwater. Otters are superb underwater hunters. They chase down fish by sight, and they use their hypersensitive vibrissae to feel for food like crabs and crayfish in the kelp forests. Their strong legs and flexible spine make them incredibly agile underwater. But just as we start filming, the weather takes a turn for the worse. The rain starts lashing down, and now it's a battle to see who will last longer the rain or our camera kit. We wait out the storm, and when it clears, we're privileged to observe this otter in its natural habitat, bringing more prey onto the shore, and then exploring and scent marking its territory. 
Emboldened by our success, the next day the weather clears and we return to the same area. This time we focus on the freshwater stream itself and finally our persistence pays off. It's the same otter at sea. And this time it heads upstream for a drink and we can finally get a glimpse of this magnificent creature in daylight. The big male takes a drink in a secret pond beneath some bushes and once it's quenched its thirst, it's back downstream to the sea. It's been an incredible privilege to see these wonderful animals in the daylight in such an incredible landscape and the future for the otters on the Isle of Mull looks secure. Next time, join us for another adventure on the Isle of Mull as we search for the largest avian apex predator in Britain.